Hi YouTube, today on stream, we are reviewing Tinders from people in chat. People were invited in my Discord to submit screenshots of their Tinder. I figure Valentine's Day is coming up. It's time to make your Tinder or whatever dating app you have look good. So I'm gonna go in there and give them some advice. Little asterisk warning. I did warn everyone that submitted that I will probably make fun of them. Not for the sake of bullying, but for the sake of entertainment. It's all fun in games and we're not hurting feelings. We are just having fun, smiley face. All right, here we go. This guy's name in chat, this is Brayden. I said, anything you would like me to know, he would like me to know is that he needs to add newer pictures. So pretty confident besides that, huh? Job, joint smoker. That's a good start, Brayden. I'm happy you listed that. Need a passenger princess. Sagittarius in college dog, drinks on special occasions, social smoker, yes. If your job is being a joint smoker, I actually don't think you're a social smoker. It's your job. Please treat it with some professionalism. Works out often. Interest, cars, basketball, golfing, skiing, music. He's a bro. There's his pick. Is that ass on the menu tonight? Brayden, what is going on? You're not getting anybody. <laughs> oh, not a car picture. Brayden, get rid of this. Great, that's a great picture. Okay, here's the deal. Brayden, only concern about this picture is you are 20. So it could be from like high school prom and that's a bit of a red flag. So yeah, you're right. You need to update the pics. I actually, you know what? <coughs> <coughs> I'm a joint smoker like Brayden. I think this is all fine because I think it shows you have a sense of humor. And if there's any girl that takes this too seriously, you probably, you wouldn't mesh anyway. So it's like, whatever, let's leave that. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. You're definitely shopping for a certain type of woman um, who likes smoking weed. So just know that you are not eliminating yourself from people that don't like weed. You're very much so only, this yells at me weed bro. So you're gonna get yourself a wee broette, okay? This is fine. This. Again, it shows that you have a sense of humor, but I think it's too crude that a girl's gonna look at this and be like, he just wants a one night stand. Which if you do just want a one night stand, sure. But I don't think a lot of a lot of women will see the uh, the the sense of humor in this um, on a dating app. They'll be like, eh, schmeep schmoop. Plus like genuinely, I'm asking you this genuinely, Brayden, because you are in chat. Do you want to eat ass any night of the week? I'm genuinely curious because I feel like maybe you don't. You don't know what that person ate that day. Yeah, you said no. So you're lying. You're lying to yourself and everyone around you. Don't try to start a relationship with a lie. Car photos, <sighs> hear me out. Car photos are just as bad as fish photos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it. It's true. We all feel this. I'm just the only one saying it out loud. So if you, Brayden, have ever seen someone holding up a fish photo and you're like, cringe. I'm not like one of those guys. You are. This is great, great photo, selfie. Eh, I can't be. I like bios that are like very like meta, like looking for someone's spiders to squish for them. You know, like, LOL, that's funny. He'll squish my spiders. Like, need a passenger princess. Okay, -ish. this was a great submission, Brayden. Next, Cow Hero Kichi. Okay, Carlos, 25, IT. Stockton University, Gage. Hi, my name is Carlos. What I can say about myself is that I do enjoy going out, especially to ramen shops and KBBQ, okay? Love to go walks and drives. So if you're down for an adventure to wherever, let's go. I also stream on the side. Great, I would not plug your stream. That is the first thing I'm gonna tell you. My number one advice, this is probably gonna be my number one advice of all night. You need better photos. A photo with a cat, genius but it's so blurry it's such bad lighting this i love the fit i wish you would have taken not a mirror selfie i almost wonder if you have a picture of you at like a pride festival like out and fun because i think that's like a fun thing to highlight with like a group shows you're not like afraid to be yourself you have too many selfies you need to start asking a friend or a mother or father to like take your photo when you're out like if you were wearing a fit i don't care where you are i don't care if you what is something fun and gay? What's a fun like gay innuendo? Oh, I know. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna be at the grocery store with your mother, okay? And you decide. I don't know if you are a top or a bottom. This is good advice. If you are a top, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the cereal aisle and you're gonna take a picture for you reaching for the top shelf. 
If you're a bottom, you're gonna take a picture of you reaching for the bottom shelf of cereal. And it's gonna be a nice little like winky, you know? What if they switch? Middle. <laughs> My other honest advice, here's my honest advice. This, your bio, does not yell confidence at me. My name's Carlos, they know your name's Carlos. You don't need to do that. What can I say about myself? That sentence right there tells me, hmm, maybe I don't, maybe I'm like a little nervous. Maybe I'm a little shy. What can I say about myself? What makes me special? No, 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 Carlos, you're special, okay? So instead you say about me, let me take you to a ramen shop and you can find out. Bam, that's so confident. Hell yeah. A lot of people lack confidence. And I will tell you that confidence is the number one thing to make you a, like come off as the most desirable version of yourself. That's fake confidence. Baby, you gotta fake it till you make it. Most of the people that you know that are confident um, aren't really confident, they're just faking it. So Carlos, I want you to be confident about what you wanna do. Overall, good profile, Carlos. Um, okay, ghoul friend. Ghoul friend, are you wearing pants? Oh God. <laughs> From the preview photo, it looked like this was butt and these were thigh highs and I was so scared, but I trusted you. Two truths and a lie. I can type a hundred words per minute with fake nails on, huge. I have 40 cousins. I was once interviewed on the news as a kid. Do we get an answer to that? Whoa, this is a cool photo. I like this photo. Together we could go to a cat cafe. I love cats. Please bring me to a cat cafe, please. I just want to pet some kitties. Please, I will go crazy and go pss, pss, pss. Okay, this might be a little aggro right here. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Again, the confidence. Gotta work on the confidence here. You were literally begging. <laughs> I think it's cool that you want to go to a cat cafe, but you are begging me. <laughs> I actually think it's funnier and more to the point if you said together we could go to a cat cafe and say, psh, 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 psh. I think that still gets the joke without the feeling of like begging. I still think it's funny. I really do. I, th I think it's funny. And I think if a guy doesn't think that's funny, then that's fine. I think the biggest thing is, is I don't think this is your strongest photo. This is a cute freaking photo. I think this is really cute too. Wait, can you tell us the, which one is these? Oh, you can't type with fake nails on. Oh, that's a pretty good lie. 40 cousins is a lot but I also have 80 cousins, so I feel you. <laughs> but I'm, I am I come from a Mormon family, so. Yeah, I don't have much advice for you. I think you're very straight to the point. I am curious if you're just flexing on us because this is a pretty good dating profile. Are you just flexing on us? Maybe, okay. <laughs> you bitch, they flexed on us. Wow, Danny Phantom. Hello, chat and cutie. They am them pronouns for me, please. Thank you for letting me know. They them just looking for some cool people to hang with. Hmm. I think this is too vague. Tell me what you want. You know what is attractive? People knowing what they want, unless you're just trying to make friends. Okay, I don't hate this. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's Picasso. Oh, that's a great photo. Okay, killing it. Love the sunset, love the composition. Super into that. This should be your first photo, I think. Oh, no, you gotta choose one. You gotta choose one, I'll choose for you, it's this one. Sober, non-smoking, vaccinated. Ooh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm vaccinated too, chat, it was, a, it was a joke. Simple, I think you're pretty, pretty straightforward. I think my biggest advice, so of course, again, more pics. I always, I'll always, that'll always be my advice. If you're looking for friends and you're just genuinely looking for people to hang out with, you're not, looking for um, someone to date, then I would switch apps. I would use like Meetup and look for like a book club or something. But if you are trying to date, then you gotta come up with something a little crazier here. A really good thing to do sometimes on dating profiles, if you don't know what to put in your about me, and this is maybe a good situation for that, is give the person looking at your profile uh, an opener. So what they could put in their bio could be, ask me what my favorite book is. And then it, it actually helps the person. It makes you seem more approachable because the person looking at your profile already has something to ask you. Throw them a bone, you know? Give them, but don't just say, ask me anything. That's bad. Give them something specific to ask you and try to make that like something you care about the most because you're gonna be able to talk about them the most. Uh, and you can also hit them back with it. So ask me my favorite book. Hey, what's your favorite book? I love this book. What about you? You have a conversation going. It's not just, yo, what up? That's my advice for this one. 
Ask me why I'm vaccinated might be a little harsh. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Ivy, anything you know about me? I get many bitches. Okay, Ivy, a little confident, flexing on us again. One thing I'd love to know about you is your music taste. Okay, all right, kissy face. Uh, great merch. I go crazy for Harry Styles. A good sandwich, sun sweats, and cold pillows. Ooh, I do love cold pillows. That is a great one. Ivy, are you in the market for men or women or both or non-binary? Both. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The only thing I'm gonna dock you points for is you have two pics with the same filter. No filters on dating profiles, all right? Don't hide your face. That's what we want to see. I want to see your face. I have a feeling we're doing mask and we're doing filters because we're lacking confidence. And I'll tell you what, this bitch doesn't need, you're hiding your face again. Stop it. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Stop hiding. How dare you? Don't deprive us of your face. So same advice to you as I gave, update your photos. Don't hide your freaking face. When I was in junior high, I think I have, I have a picture over here. This is me in seventh grade in junior high okay do you see that hair i hated how i looked so i always wore my hair like this and nobody would ever talk to me literally no one i tell you this advice because you are you're you're hiding your face that doesn't tell me that's not approachable right if you are at a coffee shop you see a hot lady you want to meander over to and she's going like this you're probably not gonna try to get to know her. That's so closed off. Some, that's a good thing to remember when you're taking photos is do I look approachable? I mean, honestly, if I saw you in public covered in kisses, I'd be like, whoa, she is taken. <laughs> Let's work on that first. That's the, that's the only thing I change. Dank Linguini. Put in my bio here because I only have 10 pics. Don't have long hair anymore. Then you have to update your photos. You're, you're catfish right now. Got four cats and a snake. Just looking for a silly goose. If you got a pulse and you're breathing, you're definitely my type. Okay. <laughs> Call me Maverick the way I'm gunning for some top. Trying to have someone egg on my nog while I missile their toe. You have got to be kidding me. You could have just stopped right there and I would have said, all right, good to go. Cheeky, move on. You just had to keep going, huh? 24. This is great. That's a great photo. That's great. Shows your, your fashion. You have good fashion sense. He likes wine. You're outside. Oh, same day. Same day photo shoot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, never. Oh, llama photo. I love a good llama photo. I like that you're showing your septum piercing in this one. Your pictures are good. You, you have a fine profile, actually. If this is in your bio, then it's fine then it's like totally fine not to update your pictures. I would make this your bio. I would get rid of this part, TBH. Username, Anton. Please don't give me advice, I cry easy. Okay, this is gonna be hard because Anton is hopeless. Pre-coffee me. He's just a coffee girl, you know? Don't talk to him before his coffee. Don't talk to him before his coffee. Uh, choose our first date, coffee shop, bowling slash mini golf. Wait, why is it two things, Anton? <laughs> Those are very different sports. Sitting in awkward silence for two hours straight. I actually like that. I don't know if you actually have this on there, Anton, but that's funny. Dating me will look like... <sighs> okay, great choice. Great choice. I don't think this is a good one. My biggest date fail, she beat me in a 1v1 ARAM. I would get rid... Get rid of this prompt. This is a dumb prompt. We're confident. We don't have fails. You're catfishing. You're not even bald. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I think that's fine. Leave that. My most irrational fear, my 05 min later stealing my blue buff. Okay, Anton. My favorite thing to do while social distancing. He's an anti-masker, everybody. Perfect. Are you a cat person? Because what does that mean? The thing is, I'm actually okay with it because I kind of think it's funny. I think you read it and you're like, are you a cat person? Because, and that's just like such a crazy photo. Uh, your profile is funny. Get rid of this photo. I hate this photo. This, this photo is not funny. It pisses me off. All right. Good one, Anton. Anton's flexing. All right. Amazing nar. James. Straight man. Insert interesting caption to grab your attention and make you say, wow, like Owen Wilson. But then you don't, you don't add anything. You either tell them about yourself or you do the joke. I like baking, grilling, darts, bowling, video games, and most other things, but some I'm bad at, 
like dancing, but I do it anyway. Board game enthusiast. I love going to the beach or taking pictures of wildlife when I get a chance. I'm really good at making chocolate covered strawberries for any special occasion. You know what? Hear this out. This is my advice to you. Delete all of this. Just leave this. This is, this is my hook. You're giving them nothing to wonder about. All right, great. I would say not the best photo of you. It's not super flattering. That's a great photo. That's fun. <laughs> is there a way to just crop them out instead of making them dementors behind you? I would prefer not a photo of your cookies, a photo of you baking. And again, I think you set up a photo shoot. Again, I think you try to crop more. That's a fun photo. I think that's great. I like pet photos. Pet photos are always good. No baby photo. We don't need a baby photo. What baby photos, unless this is your child, then you need to put in your bio that you have a kid. Um, if this is you as a baby, unnecessary, because when I see baby photo, I think he has a baby. It's me. Yeah, get rid of it. If I'm on Tinder, I'm not like, who was the hottest as a baby? <laughs> no one's thinking that, get rid of that. It's a great photo, but you can show them once you're dating. Another cat photo. Okay, so you have to choose one cat photo. This one, because your cat looks great and you look happy. Think that's a good photo. Get rid of this photo. I'm like, who's that guy? I think your strongest photo is this photo. I think this should be your main photo. You should never have more than five photos. That's a rule, okay? I, I really like just keeping this simple and saying, if my profile doesn't sell you, you should know that I make the best chocolate covered strawberries. I think that's really fun. Cookie Kwan, boomer viewer. Why am I doing this to myself? Great question. I don't know. Why are you doing it to yourself? Okay, Sarah, you're not a boomer. You're 32. Back scratch boss, carnivore, child free, work hard, play hard, summer. Okay. Dog sleep on the bed. Oh, that's a fun pick. I like that pick. I think this is a cooler pick than this. Is this your first pick? Yeah, this is your first pick. Don't do this as your first pick. Don't do a mirror pick as your first pick. I think this is fun. I feel like this shows more of your personality. Okay, mirror pick. I like that you're showing your, your tongue piercing here. My number one advice is usually replace mirror picks with more planted picks. Bio, I almost want you to simplify this to be more fun. I realize it's like very minimalistic and kind of like fun. This is advice I'm giving you. You don't have to listen to it. I don't think this necessary needs change. I think work hard, play hard is very like, you know, anything that you could buy on a t-shirt that would be sold at a gym, don't put it in your bio. It's just a little too cheesy and you are more than a cheesy phrase. What I would do, I think the things of all of this, this entire bio that I read that I like the most about this is my dog sleep on the bed. I'm like, oh, that's something that tells me a lot about her. And then the backstrap, batch scratch boss, I think that's kind of fun. I think child free is already done here. I don't want children. Great, let's get rid of that. Carnivore feels aggressive. <laughs> And you already have it listed here, so let's not put it there. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So the, instead, let's use these two things as f the fun things that are about you. So what I would do, you don't have to listen to this. I would say, warning you now, the dog sleep on the bed, but to make up for it, I offer back scratches. That's fun. That's what I would do. But otherwise, I think your profile is great. Gonzo, this is Gonzo in chat. That's a great photo. Are you a cat person because? That's very funny. We love it, Picasso. This is a great photo. See chat, look how simple that is. This is just a photo in front of a wall. What I order for the table, chicken tendies and fries, love it. Okay, good photo outside, showing the tats off. It, I'll fall for you if you're a nerd and likes to touch grass. Oh, throw up, I hate that. Change it to I'll fall for you if you'll play D&D &D or something. You know what I'm saying? Change it to something that's more like clever about something nerdy than being like, if you're a nerd. Anyway, cool car. Good fashion, you have great fashion. That's a great picture. Look at those pictures. Are they, Are you taking these on a phone? These are so good. This is the only thing I change. You're killing it, Seth. Nice. Ronnie Bo, disrespectfully, why the f y'all wearing cowboy hats up in this bitch? My end goal is dancing on the tables and in the rain with someone. Very strong bio. <laughs> I am into it. <laughs> okay, this is an awful picture. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. You've lost me. You've lost me on this picture. Again, the advice I always give, mirror pick, meh. You're hiding your face. Don't do that. You're gorgeous. Don't hide your face. That's a hype photo. This should be your intro photo. This is cool. Don't love it. Don't hate it. I think the fits fire. I just, I'm, I'm against masks and photos. This is a good mirror photo. That's a great photo. This is fun. 
Sunset, no, don't get the, get the, get that out of it. I don't need your sunset photo. I would update this photo, but again, you only need five photos max. So if we go through and eliminate this, this has got to go. This is your number one. Make this your number one. This photo, I'm not in love. It's got to go. This one's got any mask photo. It's just got to go. This is a great photo of you. This is a great photo of you. Get rid of the sunset. We don't care. And retake this photo because this is such a cool bathroom. Not bad. All right, Jedi. About me. I love making people laugh. Yes, I'm a nerd, but I also love sports and traveling. Too many interests and hobbies to list. Above average is my best descriptor. Always strive for more. Honestly, I would leave this. I would get out of this. It's hard as a human to say what is interesting about yourself. So a better thing to do is just have a have a funny little thing. And I think this is funny. Good photo. I think you could you could upgrade it by, like I said, different background. Hell yeah. Fun photo. I think this says a lot about you. Again, I think it's the same thing. It could just be upgraded with a, you know, a better background, better lighting. And then this one's fun. Just make sure this stays as your last one. When you ever have group shots, make sure they're the last one. I think this shows me that you have friends. It could be fun to hang out. Okay, not a bad profile though. So you don't have to worry about it. Last one, Paquitos Taquitos. Manny, <laughs> this is wild. I like this photo. I don't know if I like it as your first one. Fastest way to my heart is sushi, weed, and malnati's. What is that? Oh, deep, deep pizza place. Okay, two tattoos, many more to come. Don't be upset if I have a bigger ass than you. I think this is fine. The weed thing is a little aggro. I think mentioning like weed or alcohol in your bio is like, oh no, is he? Is that gonna be his personality? I'm a little nervous. This isn't a bad intro. I almost think you should start with this because that's the funniest part of your bio. Oh, that's cool. This is a cool photo. Your tattoo looks hype. I think this is a great picture. I think this shows your personality. It's like, okay, he likes basketball. He plays music. For a mirror pick, this shows a lot, so it's not bad. I might have your intro be your mirror pick just because this tells me so much about you. My advice is less photos. I would keep this one though. This is such a fun, like crazy photo. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. All right, that's it.